Hello friends, good to see you again. This is American English File, second edition, book two. This is part 3B. Let's meet again. Okay, let's get it started. Now, everybody, first, what do you see? What do you see? Hmm, a calendar. A calendar. Now, I have some questions for you, very important. Which season is your favorite? We have four seasons, right? Spring, summer, fall, winter. When is your birthday? Are there any special occasions in your calendar? Do you mark and track your activities, the things that you do in a day? Do you check your progress? Which month is your favorite? Why? Do you program your each day? How is your schedule? Do you use your time to the maximum? The most important question. Do you use your time to the maximum? Answer these questions now. I need you to speak to your partner. Very good. Now, everyone, just a tip for the day. Google Calendar is a very good app if you want to get disciplined. You can write your activities, track your activities, and it just helps you with your daily progress. So I recommend that you use it on a daily basis. Okay, that was a very good discussion, wasn't it? Now, how do you say these dates? Listen and check. Okay? 1.61 May 3rd August 12th, 2012 December 31st June 22nd February 5th July 20th, 1998 Well done. Very good. Now, how many months do we have in a year? Yes, 12 months. Now, you can use your fingers. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Very well. Now, we're going to do something else. Ben and Lily are old friends from college. Read their Facebook messages and number them in order. Number them in order. For example, this is number one. Let me show you. Hi, Ben. No news from you for ages. How are things? Are you still working at the University of San Francisco? I have a conference there next month, and I thought perhaps we could meet. I'd love to see you again. Lily. Okay, very good. Now, I need you to make the rest of the conversation in order. Read it and number it. A few moments later. Okay, you're back. So, let's do the rest of the conversation together. Me and you, my friend. So, number two. Lily, great to hear from you. Yes, I'm still at the university here and it's going really well. San Francisco is a great city to live in. When exactly is your conference? Okay, and Lily says... It's from May 3rd to the 7th, but I don't know my travel arrangements yet. What are you doing that week? Are you free anytime? And Ben West says, it depends on the day. I'm going to Los Angeles one day that week, but it's not very far. I'm coming back the same day. I'm sure we can find a time that's good for both of us. All right. And number five, Lily says, Great, I'm going to book my tickets tomorrow, and then I can let you know my flight times. Okay, and Ben says, okay, why don't you call me closer to the date at the end of April? Then we can set a day and a time to meet. I know a great restaurant. Number seven, wonderful. I can't wait. Well done, everybody. You did very good. Now, we're not finished yet. Read the messages again in the right order. Why does Lily get in touch with Ben? What are they planning to do? Okay. Speak to your partner and answer this. Yeah. The answer is, she wants to see him when she's in San Francisco. They're planning to meet for dinner in a restaurant that Ben knows. Okay. But the real challenge. Match the highlighted words 
these are the highlighted words in the color yellow all right match the highlighted words and phrases to their meaning this is on you i'm gonna wait for you okay well done let's do it now for a long time for ages all right next one number two definite plans for the future arrangements number three i continue to be still i'm still working number four maybe perhaps number five the two both and number six to decide something for example a day or a date set a day set well done okay so far so good now you can see my headphones right that means we're going to listen lily calls ben and leaves him a message listen and complete her flight information okay so lily calls ben again and gives ben the information the arrangements right okay listen and complete the information okay let's do it 1.62 hi this is ben west sorry i can't take your call please leave a message hi ben it's me lily hope you're okay i've booked my flight and hotel i'm coming on sunday may 2nd i couldn't get a flight on the first I'm flying from Boston on JetBlue, and I'm arriving in San Francisco at 2.40 p.m. I'm going back on Saturday the 8th, leaving at 12.35 p.m. I'm staying at a hotel near the convention center. It's called the Hotel Nico, or Nico. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but it's N-I-K-K-O. I'm sure you know it. I'll call you on Sunday night when I get there. See you soon. I'm really looking forward to seeing you again. Nice. Lucky Ben, right? Okay. Now, everybody, if you need, you can listen again. You can rewind and listen again. Okay. So check your answers with your friends. Okay. So let's do it together. Going out flight. Date, May 2nd. Depart Boston at 12.10 p.m. Arrive in San Francisco at 2.40 p.m. Good. Going back. The date, May 8th. Depart San Francisco at 12.35 p.m. Arrive in Boston at 9.10 p.m. And hotel reservations. Six night at Hotel Nico. N-I-K-K-O. Well done. Impressive work. Again, this reading, I know you're going to say, Surush, what are we doing here again? Let me explain. Okay, in pairs, it means you and your friend, both of you. Underline five present continuous verbs in the Facebook messages. Do you remember? You must remember. Which two are about now? And what time period do the other three refer to? Present continuous. Okay. This is on you. I'm going to wait for you. Well done. So these are some of the answers. Are you still working at the University of San Francisco? I'm going to Los Angeles. I'm coming back the same day. What are you doing that week? It's going really well. So look, are you still working? And it's really go it's going really well are about now the other three refer to the future the future right well done now this is just a start bear with me good now I need you to listen and fill in the blanks listen and complete okay 1.63 1, 63. One. I'm flying from Boston on JetBlue. 2. I'm arriving in San Francisco at 2.40 p.m. 3. I'm staying at a hotel near the convention center. Okay, very good. So, 
I'm flying from Boston on JetBlue. JetBlue is the company. Number two, I'm arriving in San Francisco at 2.40 p.m. Number three, I'm staying at a hotel near the convention center. Very good. Now, everybody, present continuous, future arrangements. This is now, this is future. Something that happens in the future. Listen and practice, all right? 1.64 I'm seeing a friend tonight. She's arriving at lunchtime. She isn't leaving until Friday. They aren't coming to the party. What are you doing this evening? Is she meeting us at the restaurant? Very well. So, I'm seeing a friend tonight. Tonight. Not now. Tonight. This night. In the future. She's arriving at lunchtime. She isn't leaving until Friday. They aren't coming to the party. Now, question. What are you doing this evening? Is she meeting us in the restaurant? Okay. Now, we often use the present continuous with a future meaning, especially for future arrangements. For example, for plans we have made at a fixed time or place in the future. All right? At the same time, we don't use the simple present for this. I see some friends tonight. Another important point. Be going to or present continuous. For example, we would say, I'm going to go to New Jersey next week. I'm going to go to New Jersey next week, right? For future. So, present continuous or be going to. Again, let me explain. We can often use either or either with no difference in meaning. For example, I'm going to see Anna on Tuesday. I'm going to see Anna on Tuesday or I'm seeing Anna on Tuesday. No difference. It's very common, normal to use the present continuous with the expressions tonight tomorrow, this weekend, etc. And with verbs describing travel arrangements. For example, go, come, leave, arrive. For example, I'm leaving on Monday is more common, more normal than I'm going to leave on Monday. Well done. So far, so good. Now, I want to test you. Okay, here's the challenge. Now, read the sentences. Write N for now and write F for future right for example i'm meeting joe at two o'clock it's future future arrangement it's not about now future now the next one b complete the dialogue between two apartment mates two people living in the same apartment apartment mates for example what are you doing i okay this is on you Stop the video and do it. Very well. Check your answers with your friends. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do it together. Number one, I'm living in an apartment with two college friends. When? Now. Number two, we're coming back on Monday. It's future arrangements. Number three, she's moving to Canada soon. Again, future. Number four, I'm waiting for the mail carrier. Now, I'm waiting right now. Number five, I'm reading a really good book about science. Now. Number six, we're meeting Alicia and Kenji for lunch on Sunday. Future. Number seven, Carl is arriving at six o'clock. Future. And number eight, I'm studying for my math exam. Again, now. Okay, well done. Now, Next one, the dialogue. What are you doing? I am packing my suitcase. Why? Because I'm flying to Seattle at 8 o'clock tonight. Oh, I didn't know. Why are you going to Seattle? I'm seeing the boss of VTEC Solutions tomorrow. Why are you meeting him? I'm working on a project for him right now and I need to discuss it with him. Oh, well, have a good trip. Right? Well done, everybody. You did very good. Okay. Here's when the fun starts. Lily calls Ben. 
when she arrives at the hotel, listen to the conversation, what day, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, what day do they arrange to meet? Listen and write the day. Let's do it. 1.65 Hello? Hi, Ben. It's me. Lily, how are you? How was your flight? Oh, fine. No problems at all. Are you at the hotel? Yes, and it's wonderful. It has an amazing swimming pool. Yes, I know. I've been there. So, when can we meet? Let's see. Well, tonight's impossible. I'm seeing Paul, a Canadian friend. He invited me to dinner ages ago. That's fine. I'm a little tired anyway. How about tomorrow? I'm meeting students during the day, but I'm free in the evening. I have a conference dinner tomorrow night. Are you doing anything on Tuesday night? Sorry, but I'm playing tennis with three of my friends. We always play on Tuesday nights, so I can't cancel it. And I'm going to Los Angeles on Wednesday, like I told you, and I don't get back until very late, so Wednesday's out. What about Thursday night? Thursday's fine. Are you going to take me to that restaurant you mentioned? Restaurant? Yes, yes, of course. And then perhaps you can show me around a little on Friday. I'm free in the afternoon. The conference ends at lunchtime. Sorry, Friday afternoon's no good. I'm going to the dentist at four. Oh, poor you. But maybe after dinner on Thursday, we can go for a walk and you can see San Francisco at night. Great. I can pick you up at the hotel at about 7.30. Is that okay? Perfect. See you there. Looking forward to it. It's been ages since I last saw you. Bye. Okay. It's getting interesting. So, what day do they arrange to meet? Okay, Thursday. You're right, as always, because you're smart. Now, I want you to listen again. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Complete Ben's calendar for the week. All right? Just like that schedule. You, do you remember that Google calendar that I told you? Okay. So complete Ben's calendar. For example, Sunday, seeing Paul. Monday, this is on you. Okay, let's do it together. 1.65 Hello? Hi, Ben. It's me. Lily, how are you? How was your flight? Oh, fine. No problems at all. Are you at the hotel? Yes, and it's wonderful. It has an amazing swimming pool. Yes, I know. I've been there. So, when can we meet? Let's see. Well, tonight's impossible. I'm seeing Paul, a Canadian friend. He invited me to dinner ages ago. That's fine. I'm a little tired anyway. How about tomorrow? I'm meeting students during the day, but I'm free in the evening. I have a conference dinner tomorrow night. Are you doing anything on Tuesday night? Sorry, but I'm playing tennis with three of my friends. We always play on Tuesday nights, so I can't cancel it. And I'm going to Los Angeles on Wednesday, like I told you, and I don't get back until very late, so Wednesday's out. What about Thursday night? Thursday's fine. Are you going to take me to that restaurant you mentioned? Restaurant? Yes, yes, of course. And then perhaps you can show me around a little on Friday. I'm free in the afternoon. The conference ends at lunchtime. Sorry, Friday afternoon's no good. I'm going to the dentist at four. Oh, poor you. But maybe after dinner on Thursday, we can go for a walk and you can see San Francisco at night. Great. I can pick you up at the hotel at about 7.30. Is that okay? Perfect. See you there. Looking forward to it. It's been ages since I last saw you. Bye. Okay. You know the drill. Check your answers with your friends. Okay. So let's see uh, what's uh, Ben going to do during the week, the calendar. Okay, Monday, 
meeting students during the day. Tuesday, he is playing tennis with three friends. On Wednesday, he's going to Los Angeles. On Thursday, he's meeting Lily. Nice. And on Friday, he's going to the dentist at 4 p.m. Well done. So far, so good. Now, I need you to ask questions about Ben's plans and arrangements. For example, what's Ben doing on Sunday? He's seeing Paul. What's he doing on Monday? He's meeting students. Do it with your partner. Ask about Ben's arrangements, Ben's schedule, what he does during the week, right? Now, this is the end of this story. Listen, what happens when Ben and Lily meet? All right, let's do it. 1.66 Hi, Lily. Hi, Ben. How are you? I'm fine. And you? Not too tired from the conference? No, I'm fine. You look really well. Just the same as always. Thanks. You too. So, where are we going? A restaurant called Luella. It's really good. Wonderful. Let's go then. My car is outside. That one there, the blue Toyota. Uh, this is Erica. She's my... Hello, Lily. It's so nice to meet you. Ben has told me a lot about you. Hi, Erica. Okay, everybody. Get in. Let's go. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Ben arrives to take Lily to the restaurant, and Lily is very pleased to meet him. But Ben is not alone. He is with his girlfriend, Erica. <laughs> Bad luck, Lily. Emotional damage. Okay, that was a very good plot twist, wasn't it? Now, listen to another dialogue. Then listen again and repeat it sentence by sentence. Try to copy the speaker's intonation. All right? Okay, let's do it. 1.67 Would you like to go out for dinner? I'd love to. Are you free on Thursday? Sorry, I'm going to the movies. What about Friday? What are you doing then? Nothing. Friday's fine. Okay. Let's go to the new Italian place. Great. Okay, now I need you to listen again and practice. 1.67 Would you like to go out for dinner? I'd love to. Are you free on Thursday? Sorry, I'm going to the movies. What about Friday? What are you doing then? Nothing. Friday's fine. Okay, let's go to the new Italian place. Great. Okay, you listened two times, twice. Why? Because you're going to complete your calendar with different activities for three evenings at least, okay? Then you're going to talk to your friend. Are you free on Friday evening? Yes, I am. Would you like to go to the movies? Yes, I'd love to. Or are you free on Saturday evening? No, I'm not. What are you doing? I'm going to the gym, all right? Or I'm training at that time, right? So, Fill in the calendar with your activities and practice the dialogue with your partner. Speak to your partner. Well done. Okay, so far, so good. You're doing great. Now, everybody, can you write the missing prepositions? Okay, let's do this one together. It depends on the day. Number two, I'm arriving in San Francisco at 2.40 p.m. Number three, Paul invited me to dinner ages ago, right? Very well. Now, everybody, this is just the start. Complete the prepositions column, this column, with a word from the list. For example, I arrived in New York City at Friday night, right? 
Okay, do it with your partner. Do it together. Very good. Now I need you to listen and check. All right, let's do it. 1.68 Verbs plus prepositions 1. I arrived in New York City on Friday night. 2. I was very tired when I arrived at the hotel. 3. I hate waiting for people who are late. 4. What are you going to do on the weekend? I don't know. It depends on the weather. 5. I'm sorry, but I really don't agree with you. 6. I asked for a chicken sandwich, but this is tuna. 7. Let's invite Debbie and Tim to the party. 8. Who's going to pay for the meal? 9. I need to speak to Martin about the meeting. 10. I don't spend much money on food. 11. Are you going to write to him soon? 12. Don't worry about the exam. It isn't very hard. 13. She fell in love with a man she met on the internet. 14. You're not listening. What are you thinking about? 15. What do you think of Shakira? I really like her. I think she's great. Well done. Very good. Now, arrive in or arrive at. Remember, we use arrive in plus cities or countries. For example, arrive in New York City. Arrive in Turkey or Turkey. And you arrive at buildings or stations or, for example, I arrived at the post office. Right? Well done, everyone. You did very good. Okay, now that you know about the prepositions, let's test you again. Let's do this one together. Number one, what do you usually ask for if you go to a cafe with friends? Number two, who do you think should pay for the meal on the first date? Hmm, interesting question. Number three, who do you usually speak to when you're worried about something? Number four, do you spend more money on clothes or on gadgets? And number five, do you think it's possible to fall in love with somebody without meeting them face to face? Okay, now I need you to ask these questions from your partner and answer them. Speak to your partner. Okay, an informal email. Okay, now I'm going to teach you how to send informal emails. First, Omar is a student from Peru who is going to study English in the U.S. He is going to stay with a family. Read the email from Mrs. Barnes and complete it with expressions from the list. These are the expressions. Best wishes. Dear Omar. P.S. Looking forward to hear from you. Okay. So, first, do it. Good. Okay, now let's do it together. Okay, from Emily Barnes, barnes at hotmail.com, to Karam, Omar Espinosa at yahoo or yahoo.com. Subject, your trip. Dear Omar, thank you for your email. We're happy that you're coming to stay with us this summer, and we're sure you're going to enjoy your stay with us. What time are you arriving at Newark Airport? If you send you, us your flight number and arrival time, we can all meet you in the arrivals area. Can you send us your cell phone number too? Could you also give us some other information? What day are you going back to Peru? Is there anything you can't eat or drink? Do you want your own room or would you like to share a room with another student? Is there anything special you would like to do or see in the US? Looking forward to hearing from you. Best wishes, Emily Barnes. P.S. I'm attaching a photo of the family so you can recognize us at the airport. P.S. P.S. means postscript, right? When you want to add something, add information. 
Well done. Very good. Now, everybody, read the email again and answer the questions. This is on you. I'm waiting for you. Good. Now, let's answer the questions together. When is Omar coming to US in the summer? How is he traveling by plane? Who is going to meet him at the airport? The Barnes family. Does Omar have to share a room? No. Number five. Does looking forward to hearing from you mean A. I hope you write again soon or B. I'm going to write to you again soon. Okay, it's A. I hope you write again soon. Does PS post a script mean this isn't very important information? I forgot to say this before. I forgot to say this before. You want to add post script as I told you. Number seven. Why does Mrs. Barnes send Omar a photo so we can recognize them at the airport? It's not finished yet. Imagine you're going to stay with Mrs. Barnes, answer her email using your own information. Write three paragraphs, okay? Well, end the email with best wishes and your name. So what are you going to do in each paragraph? Paragraph one, thank her for her email. Paragraph two, say when you are arriving, etc. Paragraph three, answer other questions or her other questions, right? Okay. And when you do it, check your email for mistakes, grammar, punctuation, and spelling. And that's the lesson for today. Thank you for watching. Wish you all the best. And I need you to be perfect. See ya.